I used to train at this gym in Austin called On It. And uh, Taker was there one day. He, he, <laughs> he was there one day training. And uh, there was a guy doing a documentary on Taker for his match against Shane in Dallas. And so I would always be there when he's training and he's doing like box jumps and things like that. Mind you, this is after his surgery with, with uh, his knee surgery. Um, so he's getting prepared. And I guess he was just filming a documentary because maybe he thought this would be the, the last match. Uh, and so the guy, Brandon, who was filming it, knew that I was a huge Taker fan and, and wanted to interview me and get some comments about it. And that's how I kind of like started talking to Taker. He's a really cool dude. Just so surreal. I just remember going mm -hmm. up to him like, hey, I just want to not bother you. just want to thank you, um, et cetera, et cetera. So that happened. Um, and then like a year goes by or whatever. It's essentially, we get up to the point where now Taker's coming back to do that match with Cena. And he actually asked for me uh, and Solo to come and, you know, do the uh, do the WrestleMania. Like he, yeah. he rented a ring in this little building and then he was just in there practicing so we were helping take her train for his match wow. at mania in addition to that at the time we were also doing a documentary on me and solo as far as just two dudes trying to make it in wrestling and that head went from like mexico to laredo and he wanted to get a scene with taker at a barbecue spot where he's we just ask him we just sit around and ask him advice and talk to him so that's where that came from was that documentary on us and uh, it was so weird because I posted it back in 2017 on YouTube. And obviously back then, no one really knew who I was. And then all of a sudden, it just it came back up. And I was like, what is going on? This is so yeah. crazy. 